Oops. Let's go this way. This way. Okay. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah. Go to this shoulder. Can't do this shoulder. Yeah, this shoulder's better. There you go. There you go. Hi, garden revels. We've gotten through the cold and now it's nicely warmed up. But have our plants made it? What should we do? And what are our next steps? All the details coming up. I know it's kind of strange, isn't it? You walk through the garden. Now we've just had 15 degree weather. We had that ice just caking on the leaves and these poor plants. And we think, oh my gosh, they must be shivering. They don't really shiver, but still cold, cold. And we walk through our garden. And strangely, some plants like these camellias look like any old other day. Nothing has happened. But some plants, yes, some plants you can see did not fare well. Now our big question is what to do about those plants that we're a little bit worried about. Here's my rule of thumb. Cut them back. And number two is wait and see. And what I mean by wait and see, by the way, is we really have to wait and see. And waiting, I'm often meaning to the end of June. What? We have to wait that long? Waiting to the end of June gives us enough of consistent warmth that will make the plant grow. And if we're not seeing some good signs by then, then we know that's the time to change out. Okay, here is a very particular hard to call plant. This is Vinca atropurpurea. This is a Vinca, nice ground cover, and it has the wine colored blooms on it. And from all appearances, it looks very, very weathered if it does not look completely dead. And so you might find patches of this mixed with some nice patches of green. And the thought is, okay, these are dead and the green ones are alive. But cutting this back and hanging tight, waiting to see what happens by the end of June is a much better indicator because take a look even right here there's a bit of new growth i know it looks so small compared to the big world but that little bit of growth can tell me hey this is still alive still hard to tell that there is some green in the stems if you want to look really really closely and I think that these are very much alive still, but hard to say. Oh, here's something you might see in your garden as well. This is a Canna Cypress obtusa. It's a fern spray cypress, really known for those beautiful sprays. And as usually a nice deep, uh, what I call Oregon green but you can see it has turned very, very bronze. What should we do about that? Nothing at all. Leave it be and it will change back to green when it starts to warm up. Ah, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to show you, this is our little gr grass section in our garden, nice and full. 
some of its pampas grass, some of its types of miscanthus, flowy, bloomy type grasses. And just yesterday, Estevan came and cut them back. So if you have grasses, especially the tall upright types that turn tan during the winter, now is the time to cut them all back. This here is a Virginia in my garden and this might pop up as a question as well. Again, that bronzy red coloring is because of the cold and I'm going to keep it exactly that way and then enjoy that coloring because I know later on as the spring warms up, it will turn that nice lush green again. By the way, there are all types of Camus Cypress. I have this golden one here, and this is what you might see as well right now, especially if you didn't pay attention to it during the fall, is that you'll oftentimes see browning toward the center perfectly okay on these camisipris. This is how they lose their needles. When you touch them, they'll just generally fall right off. And they'll put on new needles in the springtime. And lastly, I'm on my upper deck of my house and I have these wax leaf privets. And I can tell you, I couldn't think of everything during the ice storm. We had these containers here and the ice from the solar panels just, the minute the sun came out, just all that ice just slid and came crashing down on these. Not that that was the big key, but if I look closely at these leaves, they definitely have been weather damaged. Just ignore the Christmas lights on them, but you can see here direct damage from the ice. Here and here, and like I've said before, this will not heal itself, so my best bet is just to start plucking and pluck all the leaves that I see. And am I worried that this will leave this entire privet leafless? Not to worry, it will start putting on new leaves as almost as quickly as I pull them. By the way, allow yourself some time to sit and pluck. Well, that will keep me busy for a while. Guys, that's the tips and tricks for this week. Always live your passion. A little bit every day makes all the difference.